Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now in this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and customize the opportunity record page. We have already seen how to customize the home page. Now we are going to see how to customize a particular record page. We are doing it for the opportunity record page, but you can do it for any other record page like an account page or the lead record or you wanted to change the contact record, etc. So what we're going to do here is you can see if you go to a particular opportunity record, if you open this opportunity record, this is the look and feel. You see there is this highlights information and then there is this what stage a particular opportunity is in. And then you have this box which has three tabs, activity, chatter and details. And then you have the list of the related records. Now what we're going to do is we're going to modify the look of this record page. So how to do that? And we will also customize or make it dynamic. So if let's say a particular opportunity amount is more than a million dollar, then we're going to display a message saying it's a million dollar opportunity. So we're going to make a dynamic record page as well. So based upon the amount, it will display you a message. So these are the two things that we're going to do in this tutorial. So how to customize this opportunity record page. So in order to do that, the first thing is we will go to the setup. So click on the setup here. And in this quick find, we will look for the app builder. So this is the one that we're going to look for app builder. And uh, we have already customized our home page. Now we are going to customize the record page and for which particular record page for the opportunity record page. So we have already seen how to do this home page. Now we're going to do the record page and hit the next button. So what is the label? So we're going to say new opportunity record page. And this is for my tutorial rack. So we're going to go ahead and call it as my tutorial rack custom page. And what object are we changing? So we are changing opportunity. So if you type in the word OP, it will give you the list of related to this OP. So we'll select the opportunity. So we are editing the record page for the opportunity object. Now, there are different kinds of templates that are available. So if you see the console pin header, this is how it looks like. The preview is on the right side. This is the name of the template. Now the second one, pin header in the left sidebar will be looked like this. The header in the left sidebar will only have a header and it'll have a left sidebar and header in one column and then header in the right sidebar. So these are the different templates that are available. So we are going to go with the header, subheader and the right sidebar. So this is what the template I will choose and then hit the finish button. So there is already a tour available, a message to do a quick tour, a walkthrough. I do not want to do that. So let's just go ahead and close it. So the first thing that I want to display on my custom opportunity is the same highlights panel, which will give you information about the opportunity record. So the important things. So there is a highlights a panel available. So just drag this highlights panel. So think like this is all the available list of components that you have. So from here, I'm going to select the highlights panel and move it on the top. So this will give me the important information related to the opportunity. And uh, these are the three different action buttons. So if you wanted to go ahead and increase that number, you can make it to five also. So it'll have five different actions items. If you do not want that, if you wanted to change it back to three, you can do that as well. So if you do not want five, you just want three, you can change that number and it'll only show you the three main action buttons. So this is the highlights panel. Now below the highlights panel, let's say I want to add the, the path where it displays this thing, which stage a particular opportunity is in. So if you want to do something like that, there is a path available. There's an element available called path, which will display you what path, what stage the particular opportunity is in. So you have different formats that are available. You have a linear format. If you want it non-linear, you can do that. We want it to be in a linear format. So we'll choose this one. 
And so this is what, so we have got the highlights panel, we got the path. Now we do not want these three tabs. Let's say we want something else. So first thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and uh, we also want chatter information. So what we can do is we can move this chatter information here. So it'll give you about the chatter information if you want to post something about the opportunity, etc. So I've, I have the chatter information also available. Now, the next thing, let's say I want to do is I also wanted to have those tabs. So there is a tab available. So you just go ahead and scroll this tabs item to this right side. Currently, it has two tabs. One is related. The other one is details. So let's say you want to add another tab here. So what you can do is you can click on this add tab button. And by default, it just duplicated this. So let's say instead of this details, I wanted to create a custom tab and the label for the custom tab is let's say recent items. So this is going to be the name for the custom tab. So hit the, so now there's a third tab is added and let's say I do not want the details in the middle. I want the details on the number one tab. So the details will be the number one. Then you have as the related and then you have the recent items. Now let's say I also want to add another tab. So here we click the add tab again and here instead of details, let's say I want to have activity. So now we have four different tabs available. So you can save it right now and you don't want to activate it yet. So we're going to just hit the not yet button. So now what we have, we have added the highlights panel. We have added the path. We have added the chatter information and then we have created these four different tabs. Right now, there is no components available in this. So there's no components, it's just the tabs. Now let's say under the details tab, I wanted to add the detail information, the record detail information. So first, what you have to do is you have to select the tab. If you wanted to add this record the detail information into the activity, you have to select the activity tab and then move the record detail information to this tab. But I wanted to put this record detail information in the details tab. So what I have done is I have selected the details tab and then move your record detail to this. So we're going to go ahead and drop the record detail under this details tab and then hit the save button. The next thing is we have the related tab. So what do you want to do under this related tab? So I wanted to go ahead and display the related records to this related tab. So what will I do is I will go ahead and move my related list component from this list to the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. So it will give me information about the related items. So if you want to change this display, you can change it. If you wanted a list view or you wanted a tile view, whatever the view you wanted, it will display. If you want the list view will look like this. So whatever you want, you can do it. So by default, we'll select the default view here. So this is what we'll have under the related tab. Under the recent items, what do you want to do? Under the recent item tab, I wanted to display all the recent items that the user has seen. So what I will do is I will drop this recent items from here to this right hand side. So it'll give me the list of all the recent items I have seen. Now, if you want to display only the two recent items, you can do that. If you want to display four recent items, you can do that by changing this number. Now, what kind of items are you interested in? You're interested in the opportunity records, right? You don't want to see the recent items related to some other object. You don't want, a, uh, you don't want uh, leads information here. You just want opportunity, the recent items that I've seen. So you can go ahead and it will display you the three recent items related to the opportunity. If let's say you wanted to change that number to two, you only want to see two, then it'll display you the two records related to the opportunity. If you wanted to see more than two records, then you can just change that number to let's say three. So it'll show you three opportunity records. So then hit the save button. So now we have details tab is done, related tab is done, recent items is done, and then we are going to do the activity now. So what do you want to do in under the activity tab? So I wanted to move my activities under this tab. So it will display all the activities. Do you want to create a new task? You want to log a call? You want to create an event? Whatever you want to do it, you can do it. So this is how our opportunity record page looks like right now. Let's say you want to make it dynamic. Whenever 
the opportunity amount is more than a million or equals to million, I want to display a message. So what you can do is you can move this. If you want to make it dynamic, let's say you have this rich text, move it somewhere here. So it will display as a card. So here I can say a million dollar opportunity. And then we'll have a yay message at the end. Okay, so a million dollar opportunity. Change it to this size. Let's increase it to 26. And then change the color to, let's say, green. Okay, so this is the text that will display. And if you wanted to make it dynamic, means you wanted to apply a particular filter. So what you can do here is you can say that if the amount of the opportunity is greater than or equals to 1 million, that's when you show me this. If it is greater than or equals to 1 million, then what will happen is this message will be displayed. So this is kind of making it dynamic, right? Not every opportunity will have this message, only an opportunity where the amount is greater than or equals to 1 million, that's when this message will display. So now what we have done is we have customized the opportunity record page. What you want to do is you want to make this opportunity record page activated for other users, right? So what we're going to do is you have to activate it. And in order to activate it, you're going to click this activation button. You can assign this custom record page at different levels at the org default, app default. Org default will basically make this page the organization default for the object, for the opportunity. App default is for which particular apps do you want this page to be available? And for which particular profile you want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign this page to a specific app, record type, and a profile. So here, let's go ahead and click here. So we're going to specify it to the sales. Okay, specify it to the sales application. And for which record type? For the master record type. And then for which profile? Only for system administrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this particular page to only sales application for the opportunity object for the master record. So record type is master, which application it will be sales application for what profile for system administrator profile. So hit the save button. So what will happen now, now what will happen is if you go to a sales application, right? And if you click on the opportunity tab, and then let's say you pick up this Dixon mobile. So now you see the look and feel is different. The chatter is on the right hand side. You see the same highlights panel. And then this is the, this is the highlights panel. And this is all this path information that which particular stage this opportunity is in. Right now, this opportunity is in the qualification stage. And these are the details about this particular record. The related list contains all the related information. The recent items, we display three recent items related to this opportunity. And this is if you want to log a call, if you want to create an event, if you want to email this opportunity to somebody, you can do that. The cool thing here is if let's say you edit the amount for this opportunity. So instead of 15,000, if you make it 1.5 million, this is what's going to happen. If you go ahead and hit the save button, you're going to display this message, a million dollar opportunity because the amount is equals or greater than 1 million. That's why you get this message. So this is how you change the opportunity record page. You can do the same exact thing to change the account record page. So anytime you open an account record, that particular custom page will be available. Similarly, if I go to an opportunity and let's say I select pyramid emergency, this one. So you can see here now we have four tabs because this is not the usual, the default page. This is the page that we created. And these are the four different tabs, details, related, recent items and activity. This record is in prospect status. So if you wanted to make it closed, you can just make it closed here. Closed one. Hit the save button. Okay, so now it is in the, all these are done. So it means all we have went through, this opportunity has gone through all these different stages and now it is closed. And then what we have is if we change the amount. So this, you can say here in the chat information, 
automatically it says this opportunity is closed. So this is the chatter field that you see. And now if you change the amount on this opportunity, if I go ahead and make it to 1 million, what's going to happen is the same message is going to get displayed that this opportunity is now has been changed and it is 1 million and then we're going to display. So you have seen how to change the record page for the opportunity and also make it dynamic. So wherever based upon the filter, you have different look and feel. So this message will only display if the opportunity amount is more than a million. If you change back this opportunity amount to only 100,000, then in that case, that message will go away because it does not meet your requirement. So this is going to go away. Now if you go and hit the save button, the message went away because that message is dynamic based upon the amount for the opportunity. So this is how you make a change. This is how you change the record page. So what did I do is I went to the setup and uh, in the setup, I went to the lightning app builder. So we go ahead and look for the app builder and here we changed the opportunity record page. So if you wanted to change it for, let's say account, all you have to do is you have to select the record page, what account object you wanted to change and then whatever the template you want to use and whatever the things you want to do. So this is how you change the opportunity record page.